Hey guys! So I have officially reached 210 pounds, which means I've gained 15 pounds in the first five months of my pregnancy. didn't want to gain that much this quickly because I'm already overweight and I know that you know in your second and third trimester is when more of the weight comes on so um the problem is is that my entire first trimester I was bleeding and it would be aggravated when I would work out or clean the house so I stopped working out completely and I haven't worked out for three months so that you know, not working out really made a big difference. I've lost all my muscle. I'm tired. Um, my the shape of my body has so quickly, ch like the look changed so much. Like I look bigger than even my weight because I wasn't working out. So last night, Jim forced me to go to the gym. He's like, just come with me, even if you just want to stroll on the treadmill. And I'm so glad he did because when I got there, at first it felt a little weird, but quickly it felt like my second home. I, I was familiar, I was comfortable, I was happy. Once I started sweating and my heart started pumping, I felt like, oh, I wish I didn't have to stop working out. Um, I wish I could have continued because then I would have been in such a better place physically than I am now, but whatever, we can't change the past. I did what I did because all I cared about was the baby and not losing the pregnancy or risking the pregnancy in any way. So anyways, moving forward, I'm so glad that Jim forced me to go last night because I'm going again today because I loved how I felt yesterday and hopefully this will be a thing again four or five times a week like I was doing before. Um, so I'm all dressed, ready to go. Jim should be home in five minutes and we will head to the gym. And then after that, we have some errands. I want to go and buy a dresser and nightstand for the baby's room. And I say baby's room loosely because we only have a one bedroom condo, but we have like a little den and I currently use it as a dining room. But in the four years we've been living here, I've used it twice. We usually sit at the island, like on chair at chairs, at the kitchen island or we sit in the family room so I'm like I'm not gonna deny my baby its own little space um, and the ability to like have more things there and more furniture and more room for a place that I never use right I was initially just gonna put everything in my bedroom but it's already so tight I'm gonna have the baby in my bedroom in a bassinet for the first four or five months but after that, I just, I want to have a space where I can have its clothes and its laundry basket and a little chair and its own little nook. The only bad thing, the only downside is it doesn't have a door. So it's got its three walls, like a little den, but not a door. Um, so I don't know. If it's not working out, I can put like a little screen or see what I can do. But one day at a time. Um, wow, I'm talking a mile a minute. Now I'm all tired. <sighs> okay. Oh, my birthday is on Saturday, May 20th. And um, my birthday has always been special, the, like especially the last few years, is because that's the day I started my weight loss journey. Oh, oh, oh. Jim must be home. You're a great little guard dog, Oliver. Jim? Okay, Jim is home. So, uh, yeah, my birthday is on Saturday. And... I always like come say hi to the people. Oh no. And I'm all just up. They're not gonna see that, they're gonna see your face. Ow. Hello people. <laughs> you get ready really quickly because yep. then we're gonna Yeah, so what was I saying? Um yeah, so every year I've enjoyed like seeing you know what my weight was at because that's the I started on my 30th birthday, May 20th, and every year I wanted to see, you know, where I'm at now, and I would do comparison photos, and this year, being pregnant and having gained weight kind of feels weird, but it's okay. I'll be 33. The time is flying like crazy. Like, my teens and 20s seem to crawl by, and 
as soon as I hit 30, now it just each year flies by, which is terrifying, but oh well. Would you agree? I'd show you, but he's already undressed. That was quick. <laughs> so I'm doing the elliptical again. I did it yesterday for about 30 minutes, and I did arm exercises. Um, tonight I'm gonna go about 30 minutes, maybe 45, and then focus on legs. I'm gonna do like lying down different leg lifts like from the side, um, on my back, different leg lifts just to build a little bit of strength because I've lost all strength in arms and legs. So I'll just like alternate arms and legs each day, I guess. Um, Jim's rocking his run over there. He's really in the zone. I like to talk when I'm working out. I like to talk to him, have conversations, makes the time go by faster. But he gets in the zone with his music. Anyways, I'm gonna focus now because I'm getting out of breath by talking. So we'll see you guys later. This feels so much harder. I feel like I'm starting from the beginning. My leg is shaking. I used to do these like nobody's business. We rushed so fast to like shower and change and we just made it to Ikea. What's wrong? We squeezed, we squeezed into a tight parking spot because it was an expectant mother parking spot and I'm finally expecting so why not use the bed, get the benefit of parking close, right? Exactly. Closer parking is better. Yeah, so we squeezed on in there. That's because like the people beside us were on the line, on our line. Oh well. Did you find it? It's right here. Holy smoly. Is that pieces. even three pieces? Yeah. A dresser? Mamma mia. Okay. Oh mamma mia. Sorry. Is it gonna is it too long for our SUV? I'll take that as a no. Why is it in three pieces? Because it has to be. Why? Can we make sure it's the right one? It's the right one. It's your Teasdale, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know how to say these IKEA words. Well, that's what it says. Teasdale. Okay, yeah. Six drawer. Six drawer uh, dresser. Uh, but make sure it's in white. Yes, white. Get the good boxes that don't have like oh, woman, bends. Like, on. look, look, there's a little bend here. Yeah, it's, that's the box. I'm not getting another box. But... But nothing, woman. If the box has been bent or... It, it's, look at the old... Oh, oh. <gasps> it's a, Jim! It's just the drawer. You're shaking it. Guys, this is what I need to put up with. <laughs> so, I want perfection. What the heck? Huh, I didn't realize that the end table I chose was the exact same. Like it went with it, it went with it. I just chose it because I thought it looked good together. I bet you it's pronounced Tisidale. 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 I'm not the Swedish, it's the same Norwegian, but it's Swedish. Is it Swedish? Yeah. Do we have any Swedish followers? Let us know. Success, so we got both the pieces we needed and whoa, I hate merging. Take the exit on the left for Express. So now we are going to grab a bite to eat. It's like 9 p.m. So we better get that. Uh, what were you thinking? Uh, I don't know. I thought sub. maybe a sub, but maybe you want something else. So. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Jesus! Oh my goodness! I don't understand what the hell that kind of merge was. Like, where were we supposed to go? <sighs> Anxiety. 
wasn't hungry two seconds ago that like huge adrenaline rush made me hungry I'm starving now so <laughs> whatever food we see first whether it's sub or whatever um, I'm good with and then maybe if we have time or if it's not too late we may stop by Walmart see if there's like a little area rug to put in the baby's room kilometers take we'll the exit so we ended up making another stop before dinner and it was like 10 p.m. I was so hungry to the point of nauseous. Um, I actually started crying. So embarrassing. The joys of pregnancy, let me tell you. So the first thing we saw was five guys. Not the healthiest, but what can you do? So we didn't end up going to Walmart because, I don't know, it just got so late and it was closing in 15 minutes and I didn't want to rush. So now I'm just at the condo waiting with... Um, all the Ikea boxes here and Jim is just bringing the car in the underground and that's it we're just gonna go home and relax and probably assemble these tomorrow or Saturday or both days I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more and we'll see you in the next one bye